In modern society, we don't get enough exercise. We are built for exercise. We are designed for exercise, but we don't get enough. And as a result, the kinds of medical problems that we're beginning to see uh, in our society are developing very rapidly worldwide. There's a worldwide epidemic in weight gain, a worldwide epidemic in diabetes, a worldwide epidemic in heart disease, and these are not going away. The potential benefit of a drug that can tune you up in the way in which you normally get tuned up by exercise could have really dramatic effects. Endurance athletes uh, almost only burn fat in their muscle and save the sugar for the brain. And by studying this, we created a chemical, a molecule that we can manufacture relatively easily the drug reprograms the muscle as if you were training and saves the sugar and makes it selectively available for the brain and trains the muscle not to use the sugar but to use more fat. We have two groups of mice and um, one group on uh, the drug, the other group has a control without the treatment of the drug. And then we let them run on the mouse uh, treadmill and to test their endurance capacity. Endurance capacity is how long the mice can run. So we were quite uh, surprised to see the astonishing results. The mice treated with the drug, they can run almost 100 minutes longer than the one that are not treated. The increase was around 70%. Uh, and the reason is that the mice on the drug they can uh, use less glucose when they run, so the brain can have more glucose in the end. 100 minutes is a huge increase in performance for sedentary mice that never actually trained. That's gigantic. And it would take a lot of diligent training every single day to get that benefit. And these mice are getting it just because we're feeding them a drug that is reprogramming their metabolic properties. So this is exciting because it means that that benefit uh, should be conferred to people who are sedentary. If you're in a wheelchair, if you're a soldier who was injured, if you're in the hospital getting surgery, you're immobilized in all these, these cases. There are many reasons why people can't either walk or run or exercise. Uh, weight, arthritis, just age. And the idea is if you could bring a small molecule into the picture that can confer the benefits of fitness without training, you could really help a lot of people. And so we're excited by the potential and also by the science.